Hi everyone, it's Friday. Uh, this is Quincy, and you're watching Gender Queer Chat. First of all, I apologize so, so, so much for missing these past few weeks. I've been super busy, and hectic life is hectic. Um, but I'm back, and um, I'm doing okay. I'm having kind of a weird gender area crisis type deal so that's also made it a little hard to be able to do videos and communicate my thoughts effectively because I am having a crisis about my gender myself um but that's a story for another day anyway uh this week's topic is can a gender queer person be stealth I think let me in what ways can a genderqueer person be stealth? Do you personally live your life as stealth? Why or why not? Um, yeah, I mean, I think for the most part, genderqueer people are stealth because, um, you know, one, it's not really a known thing to be genderqueer. You're people generally in the real world that aren't, you know, educated about gender, they're usually only, um, used to the binary, so, you know, male and female, and that's all that they see, and usually it's assumed that you're cis, like, regardless, like, even if you're trans or anything, I guess it's just easier for people to process that information. Um, so... Yeah, I definitely think that gender queer people can be stealth, um, like, in their day-to-day -day lives. I mean, it's it's really up to you whether, like, whether you want to reveal your gender identity to anybody. Nobody, like, should be forcing you to do anything that you don't want to do and that you don't feel ready to do or that you don't feel like you want to do. So, um, yeah. Uh, I generally live my life as stealth since I am on the, like, under the trans umbrella. Sometimes, like I said, I'm in previous videos on binary, and sometimes I'm non-binary, which is, you know, a good amount of time. Um, I just kind of float around in the trans umbrella. It's really frustrating, but, you know... That's the way it is. And, uh, so, yeah, I do live my life generally as stealth. I mean, there's certain people that know. There's certain people that, you know, support me and all that. And, um, I've kind of slowly been introducing my name to, like, my family and stuff like that. Like, just making subtle comments like the other day me and my mom were watching tv and somebody's name was Quincy and I was like hey that's my name you know just subtle little things just um like that but I still don't think that my parents like they won't be able to wrap their mind around the concept of what being gender fear is and and stuff like that because I've tried to explain it to my mom and my dad is just completely shut off to the whole the whole spectrum of gender in general and um it's it's really sad that he chooses um to be that way and it's really hurtful sometimes because he can be a little mean um not even a little mean he can he can be just mean about about trans people in general and whatever because he doesn't feel like they exist and I'm like okay so all of us are just floating unicorns yes because that that is factual um but yeah so I live my life with stealth why because it's easier right now to do that and because I I haven't fully been able to, you know, I'm still on my gender journey. Every day is still, uh, you know, me discovering myself more and more and, um, you know, trying to stay true to who you are is very hard. And especially when you have like outside sources that are influencing you and stuff like that. So it's just, um, it's been pretty hard and, um, if anyone 
has any insight, that'd be really cool. Um, but, I mean, other than that, I think that it's ultimately your decision whether you want to be stealth or not, obviously. Um, and like I said before, nobody should push you out of the closet and just... And for one, don't, like, set boundaries with your friends and with your family, the people that know about your gender identity, and say, hey, you know, I would really appreciate if you didn't out me, or, you know, just different different things like that. And, you know, um, like, you can be stealth by, you know, if, if I'm female assigned at birth, so if I was presenting more male, I guess that's kind of more trans related though if I was presenting more mouth I could be stealth and you know people would just assume that I'm cis or something but I don't know I am I'm, I'm not really sure if I correctly answered the question but that's my opinion I think that genderqueer people can be stealth and um I live my life as stealth for the most part and yeah, I just, I honestly just let people assume, like, what whatever they want to assume. Like, people think I'm a cis male, or people think I'm trans, or people think I'm a cis female. Like, I don't really care. Like, <laughs> I just let people assume. And I don't really ever make it a point to be like, hi, I'm Quincy, I'm trans. Like, I don't ever make it a point to do that. Because I like to be treated as a person and not as a gender. Because generally, you know men can be cis men or what have you can be more chivalrous towards cis females or females and you know there's obviously male privilege so males are treated a different way and I don't like that I don't like being treated as a male or a female I just like being treated as a person and it confuses people sometimes whenever they can't figure out how to treat me because they don't know what my gender is so you know I just go with the flow and float around like a measly jellyfish. Um, but that's all I have for you this week. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments area. My Tumblr is always in the description box if you, any of you need to talk or, you know, have any questions or anything that you don't feel free, you don't feel free, you don't feel comfortable asking on YouTube. Um, but that's about it. And have a great weekend. I hope that if you are on summer break that you all are having a fantastic summer. Um, congratulations to anybody that graduated. Um, I love you. I mean it. Drive safe. Eat healthy. Mwah!